this video is not sponsored, okay? Okay, it's not. Hello everybody, this is Samuel Honkin and or Funtime Universe, and welcome to a new mock video. And in this video, we will be reviewing some mocks I made. Now, not just any mocks, we are going to be doing some spaceship mocks, and they're pretty cool, I like them all. One of them isn't as impressive as the others, and that's the one I'm going to start with. I'm going to go from least impressive to most impressive. So let's get started. Thanks to the set, the ultimate Batmobile, these mocks were possible to make, because I needed pieces from it. So I took apart the bat plane and the bat tank that comes with it. But at least I have the coolest part, normal Batmobile, but that's not the mock, so yeah, because it's not custom made. So let's do this. Now this is the first mock. It is a little spaceship. I mean, I don't know if it's actually fit for space because you see it has quite a big gap there, but it's supposed to be some sort of sci-fi ship. Now, if you've seen my other mock video that had spaceships in it, you would know that I like to have the wings like down like this where they're at a slight angle and they're longer going forward than they are going sideways. So yeah, I like that style. It's my favorite style when it comes to building spaceships. One of the other spaceship mocks in this video has that style, and it's the most impressive one of the three. So yeah, that's this one. It has, it has like a little red and green light thing for controlling. I don't know how that would work, but apparently it does. It has some orange spring-loaded missiles, so I could just shoot that. Don't know if the camera will pick it up, because it's, like, you know, really fast. Just, we can put that in now. Back to the way it's supposed to be. And I'm sorry it's really close, like the camera is, but can't really do anything about that. And yeah, it's nice. It fits one minifigure inside, but it has some lights on the back. And some little decoration on the wing, not much. But, yeah. That's this mock in the books, I guess, so you can take a good look at it. I'll probably put some pictures in the video at some point of them. So yeah, that's the first mock. This is the second mock. I really like this one because I just think it looks good. Has like a generic space vibe going for it. And yeah, I'll put some pictures in at some point in the video. And it looks nice. I just like the way it looks. This one actually used the least amount of pieces. Yet this is the only one that can fit two minifigures inside of it. And if you look inside, there's a little thing for controlling right there at the front. And if I take this roof off, you can see that there's just enough room for two figures in there. So yeah, it's really nice. I love the way it turned out. And I built it really quick, too. Only took about five minutes, and it's breaking on me. <laughs> well, that, that happens sometimes. And it has green spring-loaded missiles, because I really like spring-loaded missiles. I don't really like stud shooters, but I like the spring-loaded missiles. I don't usually shoot them much, but I think they look way better than stud shooters. And work better, too. And because they're bigger parts, you're less likely to lose any pieces when doing them. So, yeah. That is the second mock. I'm going to have to put it together, and here's the picture. So, yeah, this is the thing. You can take a look at the picture when I put it up in a moment. Now, this is the biggest mock of them all. And here's one wing, and as you can see, it's the same style. I like to call it the snow speeder style, because snow speeders, like from Star Wars, have that type of wing where it's like further, like longer going forward and backwards, and it is going sideways, and it's tilted slightly down. 
So that's what I like to call this style. But yeah, this thing is huge. I can't actually get all of it on this camera because the desk is too small to fit the camera and this in. So yeah, it's really big. I might have to show you guys with me holding the camera, but you guys know I'm not good at holding the camera. And I really like this back part. You have all those engines with the purple. It looks really great. It looks way better in person than it does on this video. Because video is shaky, and it doesn't always like to focus. But yeah, this is a good angle. It looks good from pretty much every angle. Which is what I love about it. And all those parts where it looks like it would be mechanical, like where it would move, like with this piece and stuff, I put a whole bunch of gray. Because, yeah, that's what you would usually imagine mechanical stuff to be. Like gray colors, so... Everywhere where it looks like there'd be mechanical stuff, I put a whole bunch of gray. Even on the inside where I connected these pieces into, which you can't even see that part, I, I like put a whole bunch of gray. And it's nice, I have a little console piece, like, for the inside. I'm gonna have to take off one of the wings just to show you the inside, because it's so big. Now this is the inside, you can see a little console piece right there from the normal Batmobile set, and then you see this little thing right here, that little screen thing, the little yellow light thing right there. I don't know why I put that there, it just looks good. Now it has two stud shooters on it. I don't really use stud shooters except for decoration because I don't want to lose my studs. Now it's hard to see, but there's a little black chair piece, and because the floor is black inside of it, most of this thing is black. You know, it's kind of hard to see. But yeah, and I love how I used these shield pieces at the front. I think they're shield pieces. They were originally used in Nexo Knight set. That's at least what I've heard. And yeah, I love the bottom of it. I just love this mock and how it turned out. So now that we're done with it, I am going to show you the picture of it. And then, yeah, I'll end off the video after that. So yeah guys, the video is over now, I hope you enjoyed these mocks, you get better detail in the pictures. So yeah, I hope you guys all enjoyed this video, and if you want to see more content like this, then just drop a like, because it lets me know that you support my channel and my content. So I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you all later. Goodbye!